Well, for today's healthy habit, we're talking about the importance of going to sleep before midnight. And Joe has more on the issue of catching some Z's. Mm -hmm. Before uh, midnight, huh? Before midnight. Our healthy habit of the day is to sleep. The more hours you can sleep before midnight, these hours count as double uh, for your total sleep hours. Really? We recommend eight hours for adults, nine hours for teens, and 10 hours for adolescents. And for adolescents, 10 hours is a minimum. Yeah, I can see that, but I just can't see. I don't think I need eight hours a night. I think adults, I think things are very different. I think men and women are different. I think mm. the stages of hormones and all that stuff in your in your body are different. But what they have proven is this. Your circadian rhythm is, is, is this whole rhythm that your body goes into. Mm -hmm. And rapid eye movement, REM sleep, is that sleep where your body goes into the ultimate repair process. Deep, deep sleep. And that's what people don't realize that sleep really is more than anything else, is it's not just rest. It's resting, but it's a repair process uh -huh. going on inside the body. Mm -hmm. Your enzymes inside of your body go to work big time when you sleep. Mm. So your enzymes will literally go and look at the day's progress and say, you know, they'll work on, um, they'll work on your kidneys or they'll work on your spleen or they'll work on mm. removing toxins wow. from your tissue. Again, God's machine is just incredibly, yes. undescribably amazing. And what happens if we don't sleep enough, Shirley, it's like, the workers need you to be sleeping to do this work mm -hmm. because when you're up, they have so much other work to do, they I can't see. do it. It's like the nighttime janitor, right? Right. So if the guys come to the <clears> office <throat> early and they kick out the nighttime janitor, he doesn't have time to get the whole office. Get, I just thought of that analogy. Thing. That's not that's bad great, for right off the cuff, way. but it really does well, work. Well, you know, it's, it's a little disturbing to me that you said it's worth twice as much before midnight than after midnight because many of us don't get to no, sleep till 11 or 12. So early to bed, early to rise makes a man healthy, wealthy, and wise. That, that's Partially true. I'll least. tell you one thing for kids, there's, I'm, I'm absolutely convinced that, you know, the youngsters, you know, yeah. three, four, five, six, even 10, 12 years old, really need to be sleeping yeah. by 9, 930, mm -hmm. and they need to yeah. get a good 10 hours. Their body is going through so much growing at that time. The work that the nighttime janitors need to do while they're sleeping is, is really a mess. And, and even for adults, you know, we really need to, in, the, in this busy society, we all need to fight for more sleep. We, we really do, and here's a couple of tips to get some, Shirley. Number one, uh, no water or food after seven o'clock, okay? okay? If you do have to have some food, we talked about eating an apple or a pepper, a red pepper, okay? Uh, um, have your room completely black I to the know. point where yeah, you it's, it's, it's pitch black. Yeah, but when you get to my age, falling is an issue and you have get, to get, get a, up. Get a nightstick or make a pattern. That's what I do in my room. I've got a pattern. If I, anything's in that pattern, I'm a dead man. Uh, the, and the other thing is, especially in the winter, sleep in as low a temperature as you can possibly oh, stand. Yeah. Really 63, 64 degrees, which some people cool. might shine. It, it has to be. It's a proven fact. That forced air dry heat that we have in so many homes, like in the Midwest and the Northeast and the Northwest, is very unhealthy mm. air. And you're, what happens, it dries out all the cilia in your nose, which is natural bacteria in fighting. Uh, but besides your immune system compromise, it makes your body work harder to mm. do that. And wow. so you, it, it, it's unable to rest. So you want it to be as, as cold as you can possibly stand and use that forced air dry heat as little as you possibly oh. can. Well, you know, we had a great show today talking about joint replacement and mm -hmm. things like that. And we have a wonderful product, which we can get on the Kylea website, kylea.com. If you go to our website, tln.com, in the lower right-hand corner, there is a Kylea link. And you can order this wonderful mm -hmm. product. Tell us about it quickly, Joe. Our Joint Life product contains large amounts of glucosamine and chondroitin, like many of them do. But it also contains a couple other things that are unique and one of them is called uh, chicken uh, chicken collagen mm -hmm. this is literally the cartilage extracted oh. from free rinse chickens and um, so you're putting cartilage back into your body huh. We're, we've always taken a lot of pride in being very candid with people about the efficacy of our products how efficient they are in the body um, for people with mild to moderate joint discomfort, this stuff is a miracle. Yeah. For people with severe discomfort, some people it helps, some people it doesn't. And I'm sure an orthopedic guy could explain that mm -hmm. better as to why or why not. Mm -hmm. um, but we, we have had some tremendous success with this product. Again, it's completely uh, natural and it's non-invasive. So you have, certainly it doesn't hurt to yeah. try it. We'll, we'll talk about it more yeah, another exactly. time as well.